Now, as we continue on the Freedom of Information Act, uh, here are some helpful hints, basically, to help you know where to begin to look for information, such as on slide 25, what would you like to know? Uh, to find out <clears throat> how much money does my school spend on new football uniforms? How much does it spend on new library books? How much does the school district pay the superintendent? Yeah, I would like to know that. Ask for your school district's annual budget. I will say something here that um, I have had some metropolitan journalists come to me and say that they have been trying for their three or four years at Troy to get a copy of Troy's budget. And uh, <clears throat> finally, finally, uh, somebody said, okay, here it is, and it was two pages. Nothing itemized, very general categories, and, which was not what they were looking for. So um, I kept telling them, file a FOIA request, and nobody wanted to do that. There's nothing wrong with filing a FOIA request. It doesn't get you into any trouble, and it's your right. It's your right to have this information. Um, by law, uh, it should not be difficult to get. Um, most of the other schools, if you go to uh, University of Alabama, it's on their website. Um, but we're not able to get that here at Troy. So let's see, what else? Um, so you can... Okay, so you ask for your school district's annual budget. Uh, how, about, how about this question? Are the buses at my school safe? If you're doing a story on that, let's say it's, it's not college, it's um, high school uh, or elementary school. You want to know if they're safe? Uh, ask for the school bus safety inspection reports. There's a lot of information there. A lot of information. To find out how clean is my school's cafeteria? Do you even know where the uh, evaluations, the county evaluations uh, of cleanli cleanliness are? They're supposed to be posted. Um, ask for your school's most recent cafeteria safety health inspection report conducted by the Department of Health. I mean, it's supposed to be posted where everybody can see it. Um, to find out how does my school rank academically compared to other schools, ask for your school's federal No Child Left Behind report card. Uh, under the federal, well, where am I? Um, under the Federal No Child Left Behind Act of 2001, every state, district, or school that receives federal education funding is required to compile and make available a detailed report card that includes a school's and district's standardized test scores, graduation rates, and other indicators that show whether or not a school is making adequate yearly progress. All states and almost all schools now make such information available online, and it should be fairly easy to track down through either your state education department or school district's website. You shouldn't have to go searching uh, for this information. Uh, open meetings laws. <laughs> The general law is that a public body must provide notice of all gatherings and allow public attendance unless meeting is explicitly exempted by statute. Let's say that a city council is having a meeting regarding uh, an employee who was found to be involved in fraud. I'm just throwing that out there. They do not want that open to the public. And so, and that also that has to do with personnel matters. So they may say that uh, the first hour of the meeting is closed, and then after that, you're welcome to come in. Common exemptions: discussion of personnel matters. Okay, there you go. Discussion of individual students. 
Matters involving highly personal information, for example, medical, personal finance, test scores, discussion of ongoing or contemplated legal proceedings, meetings to discuss the acquisition of real estate. Um, so, how do I attend a public meeting? <clears throat> uh, there are reporters on newspapers who are assigned to attend the council meetings. The, um, we're not talking student council, we're talking about the city council meetings. Show up, understand, and be prepared to explain the law that allows you to be there. If you are told to leave, ask that the minutes of the meeting reflect your eviction and then leave without a fight or a ruckus or any extra noise. Administrative or judicial review is available. Taking advantage of an open meeting law is usually even easier than using an open records law. Just show up at the meeting you want to attend. Uh, the newsroom must have FOIA law resources. For detailed information on what records or meetings a particular state's law covers, every newsroom should be aware of the publication Open Government Guide, published by Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press. Um, here is uh, an example of um, a state law, open records, uh, this is Texas. Uh, this is interesting, under police records, uh, are they open or closed? Well, 911 tapes. Tape recordings of calls made to the 911 number constitute public information. We now have TV shows uh, that are um, specifically about 911 calls that have been made. They're public. Uh, and the show follows what happens after the call is made. Such records are subject to public disclosure even if they are held by a 911 network district established under the Emergency Communication District Act. Uh, which is right here, how to use the Federal FOIA Act. There, there's some great uh, documents out there. Now we get to pocket FOIA laws, discovering hidden sources of access law treasure. Um, remember, one of the pocket FOIA laws was the Federal Clary Act, which is uh, regarding campus crime. That's all. That's all it it covers, uh, and those crimes include robbery, um, uh, theft. Uh, sexual assault, uh, those kinds of things. And we have to report them yearly. If a, if a university does not report its statistics yearly, it can lose its funding from the federal government. So it's serious. However, I am amazed uh, at the under-reporting, and I will post for you a series of Troy Clary Act um, reports. They, here at Troy, they call them safety reports. Uh, you might not know how to look them up, but just, you know, they're on the police department page or fire department, whatever. Um, it's called, look for the safety report. You can just Google it. Troy University safety report for 2019. State Campus Crime Reporting Acts. Um, federal, federal reports show Western Tech College is safest in the state. Uh, Central State University reports 32% increase in campus sexual assaults last year, 20% jump in thefts. So you could write a story like this. You could get all the information from the schools in the state and compare them. That would be an interesting story. Um, here is another one, the Federal Student Right to Know Act for colleges. It gives you access to student graduation rates, 
access to athletic program information, and access to accreditation reports. Um, I'll finish this up in the next one.